Well, hello everyone. I am Matt Williamson. How's everyone doing today? It is a beautiful day here in the Berg. And as I've been doing once a week, and probably will through April, I'm going to do a live mock draft via Pro Football Focus's mock draft simulator. Seems to be uh, stir the pot a little bit, and you guys love them, hate them. Tell me I didn't draft a center early enough. Get that one quite a bit. Go back and watch my listen to my center only podcast from last week. Might make you feel a little different about the center position. Okay, but that's always the biggest criticism. You didn't draft the center in the first two rounds. Your mock stinks, Williamson. Give it up. Well, okay. We are allowing trades. Um, hit the go button. We are in the draft. These are the players that went off the board. We'll just, I'm not going to do this every round, but Caleb Williams, Drake May, Marvin Harrison Jr., Quinnen Mitchell, Brock Bowers, Jaden Daniels, Malik Neighbors, Fuaga, Odunze, Fashanu, McCarthy, Alt, Turner, Newton, Latu, Verse, Dejean, Fatanu, ouch, I would have liked him, and Bo Nix goes right in front of the Steelers. Kind of an odd first round, but it doesn't really matter who went where, but a lot of the normal names are off the board. Now, there's a name, I, I, I tell you this all the time. Fawaga just got picked, well, a little bit ago. Um, Latham, those two to me are almost, I'm not listening to trades, I'm running to the podium. Fawaga's gone, Latham is still there. And Fatanu, you know, I know all these F tackle names screw you up, but from Washington is another one that I might just turn in the card and not listen to trades. So Latham is there, and I would be very, very, I'd be ecstatic to take him. But Terry and Arnold is also there. Nate Wiggins is also there, Amarius Mims, JPJ, Kool-Aid, Graham Barton, Brian Thomas Jr. is very attractive, Guyton, Adani Mitchell, Zach Frazier, McConkey, you know, so there's a lot to like there. We do have two trade offers, but neither one's close enough for me. I mean, the, the Raiders are on the phone, they pick 44, and Indy's on the phone at 46. Sorry, I am not trading away from Latham in order to go all the way to the middle of the second round. Sign me up, draft J.C. Latham, right tackle, badass, Bama, boom. He is now a Pittsburgh Steeler. Bet Online continues to be your number one source for all your basketball wagering needs, including pro and college hoops throughout the year. With up to the minute odds, stats, and trends, you can follow your favorite team's path to the playoffs with in game live betting, contests, and all the best player props. Experience the world's best wagering platform anytime from your da- desktop or your mobile devices. It's super easy. Head to Bet Online today to become part of the team. And remember to use promo code BELIEVE, that's capital B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit, bet online. The game starts here. Okay. So as we progress, we are into the second round. A couple guys that just went ahead of the Steelers pick. Some receivers I would have been very interested in. Leggett, Pearsall, Keon Coleman. Mike Sanistro won a couple picks before the Steelers. Great slot corner prospect. So best available, they have Tyler Newbin, Rakestraw, Bullard, Burton. I'm a fan of Burton. Ellis, Orohororo. <laughs> Did my best. Jonathan Brooks, the I just call him the Yale t- tackle. Jalen per- Polk, or Polk, Chris Jenkins. I'm really warming up to quite a bit as well. McMillan's also there. Xavier Worthy, hmm, Xavier Worthy. Should he still be there? Hmm, I have never drafted him in one of these, but I would be interested. So we're picking a 51. Frazier's gone, folks. So I am not taking a center here. You can yell at me all you want, but. The Dolphins at 55 are on the phone. I just listed several players I would be interested in, none of which I thought was jumping off the board. So I am going to try to make a trade. I'm not going to make too many trades today. I mean, I know it gets a little crazy, but I don't think this is you know one here and there. We pick 51. They pick 55. 
I want to offer them 55. We give them 51. I'm going to try to unload 195. Pick up 150. Oh boy, they're a tough team to trade with. I mean, pick up 158. And I want their third next year. What if we even go second next year? I'm I'm in on that. I mean, okay, I'm offering them. All right, never mind. I kind of screwed that up. Okay, I am offering them 51 and 195 for 55 and 158, which is their next pick. And I want their future fourth and fifth. I'm only moving back four spots, get a lot of stuff for next year, move up substantially in the late rounds. Let's offer that up. Trade accepted. It's not the best deal in the world, but hey, I like the future picks. Resume draft. They came up to grab Bullard, Rakestraw goes, Polk goes, Ellis goes. So we are still at 55. I'm going to take Xavier Worthy. I mean, there's still Burton here. There's Rook, my man. There is Chris Jenkins, who I love. I'd love to trade down again. I feel like that's just dipping in too often. I'm taking Xavier Worthy. I mean, sign me up at 55. He's much more than just a speedster. Boom. Xavier Worthy. First time I've ever drafted him. All right. Now we are back on the clock. We took a right tackle. We took a speed demon receiver. And some names that are top of the list. Junior Colson, Blake Corum, Blake Fisher, Bucky Irvin, Malachi Corley. Wish I'd have known that. I probably wouldn't have taken a receiver just now. And boy, he's a lot different, but that's double dipping to me. I don't think that's with the other needs available. I don't think that's the right move. Van Pran is the best center by their ranks. I think Mason McCormick is a better center than Van Pran for the Steelers. I am really, really growing fond of him. He's listed as a guard here. So when you watch the or whenever you, you know, see the end results and you yell at me for taking a guard, realize that he is a center. And as I scroll down here, he is going to be my pick. He is a super athlete, dominant at South Dakota State. I am taking Mason McCormick with the 84th pick overall. And now we are back on the board at 98. Probably should go defense. Um, who are some of the top dudes here? Taylor Demerson is a safety I'm fond of. Uh, Michael Hall Jr. is a D lineman that would be an interesting jolt. DJ James, a corner that they could use without doubt. It's too early for an edge, but Xavier Thomas is one of my favorite mid-round edge type guys. Chris Abrams Drain is someone I like quite a bit as well at corner. That might be my pick here. Cole Bishop's a safety that they could absolutely use. Cam Hart. I think they need more of a slot type. Elijah Jones from Boston College versus... Abrams Drain. I like the BC kid. I'm taking Elijah Jones here. I'm sure they'll give me a bad grade for that because they don't have him super highly ranked. He can play inside. He can play out. Pretty productive as well. So we have three more picks. We got 119, 158, 179. Bo Limmer's there. Do we want to double dip at center? Eh, not really. Uh, Brownlee, another corner I like. Tyke Smith is a safety slash slot is interesting. Leonard Taylor would be a developmental defensive lineman. Certainly interested about that. Malik Washington is another small receiver, but he's so much different than Worthy. You know, I don't know that we could do that, but Malik Washington is one of my favorites in this class. I really like Kamara, the edge out of Colorado State. A little undersized, but... That has never stopped them before for shorter outside edge types. Eh, there's not a lot else here that I'm doing cartwheels over, to be very honest with you. Christian Boyd from Northern Iowa is sort of interesting. He's a defensive lineman. Um, Masson Smith is here. I don't think he lasts this long, to be very honest with you. I'm going to take him. I feel like that's cheating a little bit, but I was torn between him and other D linemen. If I wouldn't take him, I would take Leonard Taylor from the U. So I'm going to put Mason Smith here. Um, 
if people think that's cheating, fine. Pretend like it's Leonard Taylor then. Here we go. D Lyman. Boom. Just went offense heavy. Now we're on defense heavy. I'm at 158. Top guys available, Isaac Gernardo, the, the, uh, Theo Johnson, Tyler Davis, Tajay Washington, Zach Zinter. Now, this is one of my favorite picks in this neighborhood. Remember, Jalen Daniels is going to be a free agent after the year. You're getting like a three-round discount on Zinter because he probably won't play a down this year because of his injury. Boom, sign me up on Zach Zinter at that pick. So our last spot, we have 178. Some names that are looking at me here. Jalen Simpson is a safety I'm fond of, too. I think he can also play the slot. That's appealing to me. They don't need a running back, but I love the Vidal kid at Troy. He, he, I Honestly, he reminds me of Jalen Warren so much. I'm not going to go that direction, though. Um, I'm thinking about that safety, which would sure help with special teams at this stage of the game. Yeah, I think that's the move. I think I'm going to go with, there's actually a couple of linemen I kind of like too. Julian Pearl from Illinois is kind of interesting, but we, did, we already took three offensive linemen. I think that's plenty to say the least. All righty, let's do, let's take the safety we took. Simpson, eh? Let's take that. Then let's keep scrolling back up here. And Jalen Simpson, safety, Auburn, also slot capable. Boom. That is a wrap. Analyzing our draft, grading our draft, all that good stuff. I really don't care about what their grades say. However, I do think it is good to know that we got the fifth round pick of the Dolphins. So that's a little little something extra there. Um, and their fourth. I'm sorry. I knew we got two. We got two mid-round picks from Miami next year. I love that. I mean, just to really move from 51 to 55. Picked up a four and a five. Latham is going to be our plug-and-play right tackle. Worthy is a scary dude, and I know he's skinny, and he probably doesn't block anybody. I don't really care. We have two really good deep-passing quarterbacks, and I think he's much more of a football player than track guy. McCormick is listed as a guard, but he is a center project to me. I still would be on the phone with trying to get another veteran receiver. We took Elijah Jones from BC is a corner slot. And we also took a defensive lineman from LSU, Masson Smith, who I like quite a bit. Zach Zinter from Michigan is a guard for tomorrow. And Jalen Smith, the safety. Um, they gave us a B. Again, I really don't care what they think. But that's what we got. Um, I'm quite fond of it. Again, Latham in the first round. It's pretty darn close to a run to the podium, right tackle, done, sign me up type of guy. And we got a little something extra. I mean, you know, I think you guys know me by now that if I can add future picks, I am always fond of that. It becomes very useful down the road. And there you have it. Over and out. Take care. <laughs>